Good morning, Year 9. I hope you're well and having a lovely day. Please clear out the date and title and essay question, your term. For this lesson, you'll need a copy of the exam question, your notes from this term's work and different coloured pens and highlighters. So do now. What does a Shakespeare essay need to include? Pause the video to answer this question. So it needs to include at least two moments from the text, clear points which answer the question and argue an idea, evidence from the text, literary terminology such as soliloquy, dram dramatic irony, metaphor, for um, etc., analysis of language and structure, looking at the meaning of individual words, and reference to context. If you didn't get this down, please note it down now. So reviewing the play, if you need to complete your scene summary sheet from yesterday, I would like you to spend time on this now. Pause the video to do this. Okay, so the stages of a Shakespeare essay. Stage one, pick out what the question is focusing on. Stage two, highlight and annotate the extract. Stage three, consider other parts of the play you could refer to on. Stage four, write down any quotations and ideas from the other moment. Stage five, consider what your overall argument will be. Stage six, start to write your essay. Pause the video to jot down those six stages if you haven't got them in your book already. Okay, so if you want to, you could work through this process with the Don John question from yesterday. Alternatively, there are some new extract questions that you can pick from to give it go, to have a go. There's also a discursive question for anybody who wants a real challenge. I would like you to spend 45 minutes on this task. At least 15 minutes of this should be planning and 30 minutes should be writing. Refer back to yesterday's model example to support you through the stages if you need to. So this is the alternative. Like I said, you could use the question from yesterday. So make sure you pause the video now for 45 minutes, spend 15 minutes planning and 30 minutes writing. So please do that now. Right, thank you very much for your work today. And that brings us to the end of the unit. So we do have one final lesson on Monday and that will be our last lesson together. So have a lovely weekend, final push, and I'll speak to you again on Monday.